rare talent are overhyped. If you are one of those folks who want to see a quarterback crumpled on the ground with defensive players doing choreographed dances around him, Rayshon Gary may not be your kind of player. If you are the type of fan who wants a defensive lineman to frustrate a quarterback and maybe force him to make bad throws, Rayshon Gary may be your kind of player. In a teleconference that NFL Network talking head and former NFL scout Daniel Jeremiah had just before the reality TV show produced by the NFL Network live from Indianapolis, Jeremiah discussed the conundrum of Michigan defensive lineman Rashawn Gary. Gary has football guys who love measurables drooling. But on a schedule where he played against some of the biggest patsies in college football, Gary's production is borderline embarrassing for someone supposedly as gifted as football folks want you to believe. Jeremiah tried to tackle the riddle that is Gary. He basically said that Gary's talents are in the eyes of the beholder. Rishon Gary to me is, he's a little bit more athlete than football player at this point in time. You'll see a rare, rare, rare combination of size and speed very explosive. The production doesn't necessarily match this skill set. So that to me kind of going back through, watching more tape on all these guys, as you go through the process, I view him as a top 10 player. Wouldn't shock me if he was the second pick in the draft because there's tremendous upside with him from a skill set standpoint. I think the ceiling for him is like a Cam Jordan, who seemed to be one of the better defensive ends in the NFL. He was a big heavy end. I know some people say he should kick inside. I like him better on the edge. That's where he fits for me. But kind of the, a lot of disruption, not a lot of production. That's why he dropped a little bit on my list. Gary may be all of that but gosh darn, you look at Michigan's schedule last year and it makes you wince as if you are staring at the Bucks uniforms. And yet Gary had only 3.5 sacks all of last year. Joe just cannot get past that. Gary had one and a half sacks against Indiana and one each against Western Michigan and Nebraska. Against decent teams, Notre Dame, Penn State and Ohio State, Gary was a total no-show. If Gary comes up with a goose eggs against quality opponents in college, how are we to expect this will somehow improve if he's playing the Saints, Stinking Panthers and Dixie Chicks twice a year? In Joe's eyes, pass on Gary, unless he free falls to the second round. Dot.